Yo, what's up, y'all? Blue, you subscribe and welcome to the content. You probably noticed that I'm a little happy. I'm a little happy. Um, I just found out that the CEO of YouTube is stepping down. <laughs> okay, okay. I think I'm being too high, but you gotta understand. Under her reign. It was just a lot of discourse and a lot of things that were just not in place for me. First, dislike button. Second, unskippable ads. Third, um, changing the subscribe button to white. That was so dumb. YouTube is a predominantly red themed platform. That's what I know. And for the freaking subscribe button to be red and then subscribe and then turn to gray, that was cool. That for me was just like, mwah, cherry on top, chef's kiss, Jim Gordon approved. But, and then it was, and it just, and just like when it even happened it was like so confusing to me it's just like why like why like who the free like who the hell in the youtube community wanted it to be white like i felt like there was a lot of changes and things that the under her rule that were happening without like no proper reason it was just like okay we're doing this and we're changing this and we and, and we and we as community uh, as the youtube community we like why and then it's just like because I can, I'm the CEO, I can do this. It's, it's just so crazy because we are the reason this platform is even a platform. So it's just like, why would you change things where people liked it that way? Like people liked the dislike feature, people liked skippable ads, people liked Berlizzi. They loved Berlizzi. Why did they have to take him out? So it's just like a lot of these things were happening and a lot of these changes were just going every single place and it was happening like week after week after week and people were not being informed. People did not know about it and even when you tried to contest, it was just like falling on deaf ears. And I heard that the CEO was very um, converse, conversive, if that's a word, with you know, a lot of creators. You know, She talked to a lot of creators and it's just like, why didn't you take their feedback and use that? It's like it fell on deaf ears. So I'm not saying I'm happy or I hated her. Uh, I hated her. I don't know her personally. I don't know her. No, do I care? But like, like seeing that someone new might step into that position and might be, you know, capable of changing things. I'm happy for that. But it's also scary because okay, the CEO has stepped down. But what if the new CEO is ass? You know, he's is even worse. Like, it's so it's just like so scary, and it's like the new CEO doesn't really have a lot to you know. To fulfill for us like just bring back dislike buttons unskippable ads the red subscribe button and most importantly bring back Berlizzi. like i don't understand what he might have done to like just made youtube take down his whole account i mean they could have just taken down the video but bring him back and also there's a lot of other things where we can change with time but i feel like those are the most important things dislike button um the red subscribe button, Belize's channel, skippable ads, and yeah, the rest we can just like figure it out with time. You know, it's like not, oh, this is a major thing that needs to be changed. Like maybe they are and I've left it out, but those things I just feel like the new CEO, if he can do that, he will win so many people's heart. The YouTube community will kiss his ass. Facts, I'm not gonna lie, because the way the, the the quality or the greatness of the youtube platform has like downgraded even though it's still you know very 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 prominent it's just like small things could make us really happy <laughs> that's all i gotta say other than that god bless have a nice life and i'll see you when i see you bye